Today, we will be talking about university news, from virtual reality in education to a Fox 61 partnership. Marissa and Mitsuki, I'm glad to have you both back on the show. Let's chat. On October 20th, the University of New Haven held a symposium about virtual and augmented reality. Speakers Randy Finch, Crystal Cohen, and Paul Michael presented keynote presentations about the impact VR can have on education. Communication Department Chair Tom Garrett was quoted as saying, We are really at a crossroads in entertainment business and whether or not it will increase the value of a viewer's experience. Both Finch and Garrett feel that VR could improve education in the next few years. So. How do you both think that virtual reality can enhance education in the future? I think it's a great idea. <laughs> I think that now in the time that we're at, I think everything should be going towards that direction, you know, like even from school books to, to other stuff like that, it's just all so much in the idea of just like virtual reality, you know, like it's the thing now. So I yeah. think it's, it's going to be great. I think it's a good idea and education can benefit from it. Um, with certain departments like the science department, mm -hmm. possibly the communications department. I would want to know more on it, like more detail in depth, but I think it can benefit students as a whole. Yeah. You can see in little ways how augmented and virtual reality are creeping in, like mm -hmm. even roller coasters have them now. Yeah. And people are so accustomed to it with things like, like Pokemon Go, for example, yeah. mm -hmm. or even like Sims, which are like, you know, augmented and virtual. Uh, people are comfortable with it. And I think it's very it's a very easy way to provide experiential education which is you know the big thing at university of new haven of course yeah. and like you said like with the sciences mm -hmm. um it's definitely something that i could see that's beneficial yeah it gives them more experience more on hand well not on hands but like virtually on hands mm -hmm. kind of experience that they can gain from it and yeah. it can benefit the student body so yeah. let's do it <laughs> <laughs> and i think it helps too if uh you're at a school that doesn't allow you hands-on mm. well now you can do it virtually so you can get the idea and when it comes down to like the real situation and the pressures on or something yeah you're gonna have you'd be more comfortable executing the exercise yeah that's true i don't think a lot of universities are hands-on like besides us i yeah. think a lot of universities are more like book work like you know professor the student body mm -hmm. so if other schools have like virtual reality it it can benefit them. Students will more than likely like it and the idea of it. You can also think of it in the way as if maybe if this school has it before a lot of other schools, students are wanna, would want to come here, you know, mm -hmm. over other choices. Yeah. So I guess it can work both ways. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> the University of New Haven Communication Department has officially announced their partnership with Fox 61, a Connecticut affiliate with the Fox News Channel. A formal announcement was held on October 26 with President Stephen Kaplan in attendance, as well as Fox 61 Vice President John Hitchcock. Fox 61 plans to connect with communication students as well as establish a professional working environment. John Hitchcock feels that this will provide, quote, an authentic learning experience for students pursuing an education in the field of journalism and communications. So what kind of opportunities does this open up for students in the communication department? I think that this is a great opportunity. <laughs> it makes me happy. Because, <laughs> like, I want to go into broadcast journalism, you know, and I think that having Fox 61 here is just a benefit for not only me, but any other student that wants to do something in that field, you know? I think I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also happy as well. I think it will give students in the communication departments or students who are just interested in that field, like, they may not be in that major like a hands-on experience you can kind of learn from them, um, possibly go on, you know, assignments with them and see how it's done like in real life. And it's just a great opportunity. And yeah. hopefully the student body gets a lot out of it and, you know, they can benefit from it. Yeah, I was really surprised. I thought they were just like visiting maybe. Mm -hmm. And then someone told me like, no, like we're gonna have like a little satellite Fox 61 here. I was like, right. oh yes, right. <laughs> sign me up, I'm ready. Uh, I think it's just great, especially since um, broadcast is becoming such a big part, or like at least um, television broadcast is becoming such a big part of communication. Like we have a lot, uh, like Charger Bulletin News, for example, we yeah. have this program. It's going to show a lot of kids 
you know, here's what we have to offer and this is for you, like use it. And I hope it pushes a lot of students like to really consider and mm -hmm. try to take this seriously. And having them here will like allow us to speak with them, ask them questions, get their perspective and not just like a student's perspective of learning. Yeah. And they can like also critique us when they see like us doing like stuff like charger chat, charger bulletin use. Like we can get like real life experience and like crit critique and advice and stuff like that. And it may push students to become a journalist major yeah. and to work in the communications department. Become a journalist, <laughs> y'all. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also beneficial for the students who are on the fence who mm -hmm. don't really know like what they want to do and you know this is always an opportunity for someone to be like oh my gosh yes like this is actually what I want to do thank you UNH thank you for the <laughs> opportunity you know like that's oh, it's great I think it's a great opportunity yeah this will definitely open doors for students as well as get the university's name out there coming up we discuss an opinion piece from the Charger Bulletin about internships Staff writer Kimberly Trablusi wrote an editorial for the newspaper regarding the issue of unpaid internships. She feels that they are, quote, unaffordable and unattainable. She talks about her personal experiences, saying that bet be between paying for parking garages and train tickets, it became expensive over time. A business management major commented on the editorial, saying, quote, I think the experience is necessary, but being expected to survive when you're not being paid is ridiculous. So. Are unpaid internships worth it, or are they just free labor for businesses and corporations? For sure, free labor for <laughs> businesses and corporations. I only say that because when you think about an internship, it's a job. Mm -hmm. And so when it's unpaid, how are you going to survive? Like, we're, all, we're college students. We need the money that we can get. So if, when you expect us to work 20 hours a week and, you know, come in and get your coffee and your cream and your donuts, like, what experience are, experience are we really uh, receiving if we're doing stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. There's some internships that give you experiences. But on the other hand, sometimes you come in as a student and you're teaching them something <laughs> rather than them teaching you something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And I think that sometimes students have to end up taking back hours from their actual job mm -hmm. for this internship and if it's not paid then first of all you're losing money from your actual job and then second like how do they expect you now to get the money to survive like say you're going to the city you're not gonna have any money to go to the city to do your job if you're not getting paid yeah like that just doesn't make sense to me there there are just like too many factors that go into it being a full-time student or even part-time doing an internship if it's unpaid and then having a job like what look, I'm not going to be a useful person to you if I'm stressed because of two other things as well as doing this on top of it yeah. and if my unpaid internship involves like you said doing your coffee run getting your lunch like Money. that that's free labor like I'm doing I'm just doing things for you yeah. and that's not really fair I also think like with unpaid internships like you get experience but even when you graduate college and you apply for these entry-level jobs or a job in your field they want you to have experience and it's like I have experience it's just not paid experience mm -hmm. so I feel like if it's a paid internship then you know companies and jobs will look at it a little different than unpaid and they're like okay well you got paid and you know you you know what you're doing rather mm -hmm. than okay well it was an unpaid internship so you probably wasn't really doing much yeah like that plays a factor in it too it places yeah. I think value like for yourself in the position and then it makes them value you more as a person uh, helping them I think that no matter what, people want to do a better job when they get paid. Like, not saying that that's good, but I think that just how the human mind works, like you're getting paid, oh, maybe I should do work a little harder because I'm getting money kind yeah. of thing, you know? Yeah. So. Do you think that internships should only be for gaining experience? Definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> should it just be for gaining experiences? I, yes and no, because, like I said, when you look at an internship, sometimes you don't even gain experience. Like, I've talked to people who've done an internship for, like, the whole summer, and they come out and say, I didn't learn anything. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yes and no, in okay. a way. I think that, I think that it should be for experience, but at the same time, it's, it's the person, whether, and the job, you know, whether you gain any experience from it or not, you never know. So, you yeah. know. Yeah. All right, well, internships may be worth it, but not to your wallet. Best of luck on bo to both of you on finding great internships, and hopefully they pay you in the end. 
Uh, that is all we have for Charger Tat. Thank you to Marissa Mitsuki for being my lovely guest today. Hopefully we can have you back soon. And for next time, I'm your host, Kiana Quinones. Stay chatty, Chargers.